So Easter is quickly approaching, and for a lot of people, that means cooking up an Easter dinner, Easter brunch, what have you. And so we brought in Lori Wren of MyWickedWhisk.com to give us a, an idea or a different take on something we could add to Easter brunch, right, Lori? Absolutely. Good this, morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Awesome. Awesome. I'm so looking forward to Easter. You know, it's one of those holidays. It's you know, it's it's just it's, it's a, a fun it's a fun holiday. holiday. It's yep. spring, and it's you know, kind of revolves around food, like every holiday in my house, anyway. As it so, should. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So we are doing something a different take on eggs, right? Yeah. Today kind we're going to make a frittata, okay. and it sounds like a fancy schmancy kind of dinner, or you know, a fancy word, but it's actually super simple. It's really healthy, and um, it's so it's so versatile. You can put just about anything in a frittata. Love I mean, it. You can put last night's leftovers. I've seen Mario Batali on TV throwing a bunch of leftover spaghetti in a frittata. You're kidding. Okay, yeah, so, so what? Everything in the kitchen sink, right? Right. So, so I just, with? I, yeah, I've already started okay. um, mix, uh, sauteing some mushrooms and onions okay. here to get them nice and soft. So I gave it about five minutes. And what I put in the pan was just a little pat of butter and some olive oil. Okay. The, the butter for flavor, the olive oil for the high smoke point. And awesome. We want it, you want to make sure you use a nice non-stick pan that's also oven proof. So you want to get one that has a has a hand that, that comes can go, later. I can go right in the oven. The oven proof. So I okay. cracked about a dozen eggs okay. here, and this is going to serve about six to eight people in you know in a normal household. But my boys really like frittata, so okay. it serves about three to four in my house. <laughs> so, so give or take a dozen eggs will mm -hmm. serve. Will should serve your crowd if it's not too right. Big. Okay. And it's just like a crustless quiche. Okay. So what you want to do is um, you could take some milk. I use whole milk, but you can use non-fat milk. You can use whipping cream if you wanted to. To, to be really decadent, and okay. if you want, you can start Ooh, whipping those up. Whipping cream sounds good. Yeah, and, okay. and the difference um, between a frittata and an omelet. An omelet, you know, you'll you'll beat up your eggs, but in a frittata, you want to really whip them and get them nice and fluffy. So I'm okay. gonna add a little bit of kosher salt to get them extra that. fluffy. Is it the length of time you beat the eggs? Yeah. Is that as yeah. I shake the whole table and, and the power. Get some power behind it. So I'm gonna <laughs> make I'm a gonna, mess. I'm gonna Lori. crack some black pepper okay. right into there. So we're gonna let her. Whip those up for okay. a few minutes, and um, while she's doing that, I wanted to remind you guys that April is Autism Awareness Month. That's right. Yes, it and is. It's a cause near and dear to you, yeah, I know. Yeah, so week yeah. from this Saturday is the Walk Run for Autism, and it benefits the, the Autism Society of Treasure Valley. Awesome. So we want everybody, everybody, everybody to come out because the Autism Society of Treasure Valley does so many wonderful things for our community, um, like uh, training first responders and just... It really, the money goes towards Treasure Valley families Absolutely. with autism. Absolutely, and that's so, on the 26th, Yeah, right? on the okay. 26th, so, Perfect. all right, you all got right. those I whipped think, up? I think okay. I did good enough. You okay. did an awesome job. <laughs> My arm is tired. <laughs> okay. okay, all right, so we just have a little so, bit of time left, so we have all of our veggies here. Right, so, so now go I'm just going to, I'm going to put in some sweet grape tomatoes. Okay. You wouldn't believe, but this is actually about three cups of fresh spinach cooked down. Oh my gosh. I cooked it for like two so minutes little. in the microwave okay. and then spinach, tomato. So okay. I'm going to add, add those and then I'm going to add in all of those wonderful fluffy eggs that you whipped up for us. Mix okay. that all that looks up. pretty good. Okay. And then we're going to let that, um, it, this is going to cook for about a good, I don't know, eight to ten minutes okay. right here on the stove top. Then we are going to, I got Asparagus left over. I love from, asparagus. From dinner last night. Okay. It's already cooked. You want to so put it in. Throw everything in. 10 minutes here, and I'm getting a wrap already, Lori. Okay. So, so, what we'll have there, to do, do, we do, we'll have to, um, when it's about three fourths done and just a little bit liquidy, okay. we'll throw it into a 400 degree oven for about ah. five minutes. Or I actually like to put it for two minutes under the broiler. Okay. Yeah, and you'll take it out and it'll this look just like this. This is what makes it a frittata like more than just a scrambled egg mix, right? Right, right. right? And and when you bake it, okay. You just flip it onto a <laughs> plate. Oh, you're so smart. I was wondering how to get it out. All right, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> In a perfect world, ta-da! Ta Thank you, everybody. Oh, and then I see the cheese over here. Do you add cheese yes. on top? Will it melt cheese, down over the top? Cheese in here, cheese uh, on top. I've got some feta. Everywhere. And you slice it up just like a pizza. Oh, so nice. And so it, easy. Fresh herbs, fresh cheese. And anything you want in there. And, and we will put this yeah. on our website and, of course, mybookedwhisk.com. <laughs>